Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we... Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome into our service. We're going to have church for you tonight. We have... Uh, we have a, a good group with us. We have phone operators, and we're believing to just have church. And you can have it right there in wherever you are, if it's your sick room or a hospital or jail or wherever you are. The Lord can be there with you. That is the most wonderful part about the Holy Spirit. He can be every place at one time. So I have just two verses I want to share with you to remind us of uh, about our help. And this is in Psalm 62. And it says, Truly my soul waiteth upon God. From Him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. He is the only place that we are to turn to in this day and time when so much confusion and trouble are going on, let's remember that from the Lord comes our salvation. No one else, regardless of how good a uh, outfit that they tell you to try to get you to join, just remember it's only from the Lord that we get our true help. So uh, we can be thankful though tonight that He is our rock and our defense, our salvation and He's going to hold us, even in the, all the times of trouble and everyone throwing up their hands and wanting to give up. We are stable if we are in the Lord, and we thank the Lord for that. All right, we have a number of requests already in, uh, and we will be taking care of all of those. Here's a good praise report. Let's start with that, because we're expecting some more good praise tonight. This one is for Teresa from Bath County. She wanted to pray for her two sons and said her husband had had a lung cancer for over a year, but now they said that uh, all that's in there is just a scar tissue, no cancer, and they're praising God for that. That's a real healing. And so, so let's look for things to praise God for tonight. Yes, this is a good rainy time to be in and just focus on the good things of God because He is our only hope. He is all in all what we need. So let's pray. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight that you are our salvation. You are our help when people and things around us change and move and do, do what all they're doing. We know that you remain the same, and we thank you for that. We can always know you're right there for us, and we praise you for that. Praise you for this healing of this man's lungs. And so we know there's much more that needs healing tonight. So give us victory in this service. Bless our guests, our phone operators, and our staff, and everyone's involved in this service, Lord. We're here for a reason, and that reason is to lift up your name. So help us to do it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, tonight we're happy to have the Glory Land Baptist Church from Berea, Kentucky. The phone number is 859-624-3023. Uh, and so right now let's welcome Glory Land Baptist. Yes, Lord. 
You know, God is here to help us. And, and you know what? There's a lot of people today looking for a comforter. And you know that comforter comes from above. Amen? And feel that comforter not to help us. And you know, there's so many people uh, is taking life for granted. I don't want to take it for granted tonight, Sister Margaret. You know, I don't want to lose my joy of worshiping God. I don't want to lose my joy of rejoicing because He is the Almighty God. Amen? How many believe that tonight? We come here to lift His name up. There's a city that over the land. about everything today in our country is about money. But one thing about it, we've got to have it. But you think about this out there. If you need comfort, then think about just letting, letting God open up heaven a minute and see all the, hey, the streets of gold all the way out. Think about this now. This is real. The Bible speaks. That's a rod. Oh, hey, this rod is sharp. It goes in, cutting, and comes out cutting. That's, that's what we're looking for today. We need something. We need that comfort to hold us, guide us, and direct us. There's somebody out there tonight. I can feel it. Hey, you know, little sisters are in Richmond and Danville. Uh, they prayed they had the Lord in their lives. Uh, one of them uh, needed it for alcohol. You know, listen to me, folks. I'm an example, and God put me out to be an example uh, uh, that listen to me right now. Uh, I have been there. I know what's going on. Uh, and alcohol was my comforter. Uh, and it's a lot of drugs. It's a lot of people's co- Oh, but glory to God, we, we might need all of it. Uh, but most of all, uh, we need that comforter right out of heaven. Yes. How many yes. believe that? We was talking a while ago, uh, uh, Sister LaRonda, Brother Mark will be proud of me showing, showing an example. This is a staff. 
Oh, we was talking about David. Uh, oh, when he's a mind in the sheep. You hear me now. If the sheep got in trouble, uh, they'd take this uh, and they'd pull them in. Uh, I, I can feel that today uh, because this is the staff. Uh, and this is the rod. Uh, that it, They lay it down. Listen, listen now. Hey, this is an example. Of day. Can you imagine? Go back a little with me. He said, David said in Psalms 23, Oh, oh I, I will share some. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I, I've been in that shadow many times. Times. I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And you know, he had this. Can you imagine that little fellow? I was telling Rod's coming down here. Can you imagine that little fellow? I tell the Lord dealing with him. And he took one little rock, didn't he, Rog? One little rock and saved all of Israel and all around. And I believe he can do it today if we believe it. And this is a this is little. Uh, 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 what we call it, uh, it's a little separation to keep them apart. But honey, nothing crosses that rod. Uh, and when they went to sleep, uh, hallelujah, can you imagine? Can you imagine a rod uh, Oh, that's got power as God wanted David to have in his staff? Uh, if they got in trouble, uh, uh, listen here, uh, uh, he'd reach in there with his staff and he would get them. I feel that today. And this is just uh, uh, to keep them in line. Uh, hallelujah. And you know what keeps me in line? Oh, Oh, that Holy Ghost that I'm feeling right now. Yes. That keeps me in line. I feel that power. And you know what? I just thank you, Sister Margaret, for that. Because it, I, I go back. I'm not an Old Testament person, but I go back. You've got to believe from Genesis up to glory God to Matthew before you can believe that Jesus said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come unto you. Amen. I'll abide with you and you'll abide. Well, I feel that power tonight. Yes. That comfort in hand of God. You know what he says in the end of the Thessalonians, comfort one another with these words. You know, I want to comfort the people out there. And you know, as a little gal told me, we're reaching, you know what? Why not give to the station? I mean, there's, people, there's plenty of money right now. Uh, they probably still got some of that stimulus money put back. You know what? Because we're reaching all over the world, folks. I've seen three little guys up here, <laughs> 15, 12, and 9, and all you thought telephone was on. And listen to me. Uh, uh, glory to God, people's looking for that. People's looking for something exciting. Let me share with you tonight about something exciting. Uh, I've got a God. Uh, woo! The show. He can open them heaven doors anytime He wants to. Uh, glory to God. And He'll show you the streets of gold. Uh, and the hey, 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 the walls of jasper. And what else? Uh, come on, there's some more things in there. And the pearls and all. It's all there for us. And we, listen to me. All we got to do is believe it, accept it. Uh, uh, glory to God. Uh, and I encourage 84. 84 is when he delivered me, Gary. And you know what? Woo! I'll tell you what, every day I get a little stronger in him. Every Oh, we'll go through her downfalls and her uprising. What was Sister Margaret? Things happen to us. Yeah. But you know what we got? We got that comforter. Yes. Whoa! They were all in the upper chamber. They were all in the
You know, we're serving a God, you know, hey, hey that created the heavens and the earth. And you know, He, he made hell. He, he made hell for the devil and his angels. There's a third of them down here. Oh, but wait a minute, wait a minute. We got two thirds of them angels watching over us. Here not long ago, I said, Lord, I need an angel. I, I need help here. And you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't quit, and, and people wouldn't quit praying. I said, Lord, I, I need that angel I, I, because it'll comfort us. Okay, I, I don't know what they, I don't know if they have wings or not. Everybody sees them in their own little mind and vision. Oh, but glory to God, I know they're real. I know they're alive. And I know God is right here in the midst of us. Somebody out there said, I need, I need to be delivered. Well, honey, listen. He can break those addictions. He can break them in Jesus' yes, name. He hey, hey, that name is higher than any other name. Yes. Because he walked here and he done what he done. <laughs> oh, Jesus looked at the little boy the father brought to him. He said, come out of him, dummy. <laughs> you know, I do not want to be in the category with the devil and his angels. I want to be in another, oh, glory to God, I feel your power, Lord. And I want to be what you want me to be. All we got to do, somebody said, do we have to do this? Hey, all you got to do is be under the leadership of an almighty God. Ask Him for that comfort tonight. Somebody out there yes. need that. Somebody, glory to God. And you know, there be, hey, you, got, you got to be who you are. But hey, 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 we all got a different mind. We all got, hey, but we hey, Lord, have the same spirit that was in that upper room to lead God and direct us. Amen. Amen. I was talking about Sister Mark, you got a family out there, her whole family. Uh, Robert Robert Shepherd needs your help. Well, he needs to get through uh, and the Powell, Powell family, uh, I love it. Uh, call me before I come down here and said, hey, that's what's so important about this station. And somebody sitting in that seat up there to lead God and direct these people is that staff and that rod that laid down. Glory to God. I believe, honey, I wouldn't get strong enough in the Lord. At the name of Jesus, the devil has to flee. Oh, I feel that power tonight because hey, I'm preaching too much, ain't I? Oh, but one thing about it, God is in the midst of us. He's in the midst of our soul. He's in the valley we walk. But you know what? Glory to God. Uh, this might have been to separate the sheep a little bit. But you know what? You know what this is? It's for, it's for you and I to give someone an encouraging word. To comfort them uh, that God is still alive. Folks, listen to me. I can see we're in tribulation starting in it. Uh, and I'm not being gloom and doom. Uh, but let me share something with you. Uh, we need to uh, arm ourselves up uh, with a whole armor. Hey, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of faith, and their feet shod. A glory to God. You know, there's so many families arguing right now. So many children that don't understand. Glory to God. You're a girl, ain't you? I'm a boy. I'm a young one too, ain't you? And you know what? We know what we are. Amen. And I'm not. I'm not. I'm not being mean or nothing. But one thing about it, honey. Let's pray for America. Let's pray for our country. Let's pray for our schools. Uh, and you know what? Uh, there's many people out there. Uh, Brother Wally, we're praying for you tonight. You and Dale and your mama, sister. Listen to me, folks. 
uh, Sister Mark, there's so many people that call me and say, hey, I'm listening to the station. I said, that's good. Somebody, uh, if you don't like us tonight, you'll like a, a group tomorrow night or right on down the line. Uh, but one thing about it, honey, we're all serving the same God. Uh, and that yeah. comforter is right here in the midst of us. Uh, I feel, let's pray for our yes. pastors today because glory to God, sometimes... Uh, I don't hear some good stuff. But I want to hear about what Jesus done when He walked here, the lame walk, the dumb talk, the blind seen, and the dead was raised. Man, I'm, a, I, I'm going to serve a God tonight, Gary, that can do all things. And if He can do all things, we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. I'm, hey, somebody out there, you know what? We just blunder around, drag our feet. Oh, oh you know what I hear? Oh, it's such a bad day. I think it's such a good day that I got up. Every morning I get up, I say, thank you, Lord, that I can breathe. Oh, glory to God. He's giving me my breath back. I think, and some people probably say, I'm on, hey, hey, hey. I want to tell about what God has done for me. I want to tell Him what what He done for the people when He walked here. But one thing about it, if one little rock can defeat an army, rock, or defeat that whole army, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm serving, I'm serving, and I'm standing on the foundation of a God that can still do it. Amen? Amen. What He starts, He can finish. And He loses none of us. I'm glad I'm His, ain't you? How many belongs to Him? What glory to God, I feel that power. And you know what? My little sister down there in the terrace, I'm praying for that whole terrace. All them people down there. Seem like when you get there, uh, people want to give up, honey. Listen, listen. <laughs> Glory to God. I, <laughs> oh, somebody. I, one of my sons, I think, said he was going to get me a, a wheelchair that smoked. <laughs> Glory to God. The tar smoked on it. I said, I need that because I'm going to tell people that God is still who He says He is. Amen. He's still the great I am. He's still the one that's coming close to Easter. And you know, as we open up that Word of God... That is our manna we're eating, honey, as he sent down to the children. I, I, hey, he wanted, to, he wanted to excite them and feed them, but now they eat it and they went right around and around for 40 years. You know what? I don't want to go around and around. Sometimes I do a twirl, but it, <laughs> I'll tell you what, honey. I want the main course. I, when you go in a restaurant, I want what I want to eat. Amen. And you know what I want to eat when I open His Word up? That's, uh, that's the Word of God. And when I drink of His glory to God, uh, His Spirit, uh, which is the blood, uh, I feel the goodness of God. I can raise my hands uh, and say, Lord, you're in the midst of this. Uh, I bow my knees and I feel better. Uh, Lord, I'm glad tonight uh, uh, that you're still King of King. Save one more, Lord, for it's too late. Uh, we can't get it done, but we can tell them uh, that, hey, be, we can be an example. Uh, hey, hey, I want God to move in the land today more than he ever has. Why? Because yes. we're in trouble. Yes. We're in trouble. But hey, God's people's not. He said, I'll always be with you Thank to you. the end. Amen. Thank and you know, so many people, Sister Margaret, hey, I, I talked to them that's wanting to take their own lives as Judas did. You know why he took his life? He had done so much. He had seen. He took 30 pieces of silver. And you know what he done? Hey, hey. He felt so bad about it uh, that he couldn't take it. Uh, And you know, there's people out there tonight, if you're hearing me, hey, hey, call on him. No matter what you've done, call on him. Say, Jesus, uh, and say that name till he says, here am I, I, I'll talk to you. And you know, if he could save me, he went way below the bottom. But one thing, he can save you. I believe that tonight because you know what? I'm not on no eagle trip I'm nothing on my own I've made mistakes I often sit as public place and home But I'll prove one day just why I say I'm a special kind When he was on that cross I was on his mind For he knew
Think about that just a minute, guys. Think about him being on that cross. They drove nails in his hand, thorns on his head, cut his side, and the water and blood run out. Hey, hey, listen to me. He done that just for me and you. He done that for you out there in the land. Folks, this thing, I'm going to preach it until I leave here. I don't know how long he allowed me to preach. I'm getting, uh, no, I ain't getting up there. One thing, <laughs> one thing about it, God is in the midst. And he, why, why, hey, hey, when he's on the cross, every, he'd say, forgive him. Can you imagine that? What if I smacked you in the mouth? You wouldn't say, forgive me. You'd hit me with both hands. You know, but he didn't do that. He said, Lord, forgive them, for they know not what they do. If you look around, you know, somebody said that this way, hey, 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 nothing. Solomon says, whatever goes around comes around. There ain't no new thing under the earth that ain't already been done. But honey, you know what I want to do? I just want to worship Him. I don't want to lose my joy of worship. I don't want to lose, especially, I don't want to get cold in the Lord because you never know when He's going to call you home. Hey, 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 <laughs> but I'm going to laugh and praise His name. I'm going to shout all the way through. Yes. How many is going to do that? Hallelujah. You know, I'm, I want to remember, uh-oh. I want to remember Kathy and Leroy tonight. They're not with us. You know, we're going to send them out a song. And, and you know what, folks, we may get down. Now, say, people say, where's your faith? Honey, God just may. <laughs> we, we got a lot of power ourselves. But one thing about it, I know he's in the midst of that. I know he'll take care of it uh, because, hey, 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 he, he may use doctors, he may use medicine. He, he's even starting to use robots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but one thing about it, he's getting her done. Amen. 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 Well, I'm going home, home to Jesus, Jesus in the twinkling of an eye. I made my reservation. That you got your reservation. You know, hey, hey this is a, a, a school break. Spring break. Everybody had their reservation for Florida and wherever they're going. And, and a lot of, I'm not judging nobody now, but a lot of people don't realize, have we got our reservation in heaven? Have we said, Lord, come into our hearts. Right. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us as sinners. We're all, we're born. Uh, Mama said, I, 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 I didn't walk till I was five. I didn't like to walk. I'm still lazy. Amen. But, <laughs> but one thing about it, he's in the midst of us. Amen. 
And, and you know what? We're born into sin. And then glory to God. Oh, one day uh, the Spirit will reach out. And well, hey, I was 14 year old. I'll never forget it. This old Indian honey from Oklahoma was preaching. Uh, and I seen, I seen a vision go by him. And it scared me. And I took off running. I, I, I run, I was 40, I mean 34. <laughs> Glory to God. But one thing about it, God won't give up on us if we've got a work to do. I will, if, it just, hey, no matter what you do, I, I give Him praise, glory, and honor for it. I, I thank Him for being here tonight. And you know, you know yes, yes, Jeanette, I did bring that down here and give it to Margaret. And <laughs> she wanted to make sure I'd done that, Sister Margaret. But one thing about it, we're going to reach out to Carl and give him a song tonight. Because he's real, and, 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 and you know, he's wanting out of bed. There's a lot of people out there tonight uh, is wanting to walk, Amen. wanting to see. And, and you know what? I thank God that I can still see a little. I thank God that I can still walk. How many can say, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. And, I, you know, for what you give us. Yes, and you know, he's got all the fruits of the Spirit to give us. And you know what? There ain't nothing like walking around uh, under the power of the Spirit of a living God. Because God's not dead. Amen. Hello, how many believe you said? God's not dead. He still loves me. Yeah. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. You know what? <laughs> you know, if I, if, I get, if I get cold, really think I'm getting cold in the Lord, I go get in the shower and turn that water on. I, I say, Lord, <laughs> glory to God. I, I feel your presence here because, hey, just like a tree by the water... <laughs> And letting that water feed them. I feel that water tonight. Listen to me. There's somebody out there as we're speaking. Let's ask God. Now, now you're out there, you know, and you need that comforter in your life. You've had this comforter and that comforter. And, and you know what? We think, uh, uh, you know, they call it spirits uh, for some reason. Uh, alcohol and drugs. That's okay. We need it uh, at a certain time. But we don't need it to be our comforter, honey. Listen to me. Uh, glory to God. I'm not a self-centered preacher. But I believe uh, in the movement of God. I believe in believing God. Somebody's out there tonight. Listen to what I'm saying. Say, Lord, Lord, I need your comforter to help me. Yes. i got little children. Uh, and, and Lord, I don't want to be around them and not know what I'm saying. Uh, i got a wife or a husband. I don't want to be around them and start a fight. Uh, uh, but I want your comfort in hand in my home. Uh, I can yes. feel him going into somebody. His home uh, because he's that kind of God. Uh, he loves us all the same. How many believe that? He's in the midst of us tonight because he wants us. Uh, hey, he wants, I still go back to little David. Uh, and they, they asked me, Ain't you got another son? Well, I got a little old runny son down there watching the sheep. Honey, he wasn't as runny uh, as they thought he was, was he? Uh, oh, oh, I'll tell you what, God dealing with him. You know, I'd be out by myself. I was always a loner, but I'd be out on the farm. <laughs> doing this and doing that, and the Spirit would deal with me, and I didn't know what it was. You know, I was like Samuel. <laughs> it was, Lord, Lord, next time he speaks, he said, Eli told him, next time he speaks, you say, hear my Lord. Somebody out there tonight is saying, Lord, hear my, I need your comforter. It don't cost anything. You done paid the price. How many believe he paid the price? Yes, amen. I believe he paid the price for every one of us. Why'd you say, hey, listen to me. I, I'm American. I'm a, God bless America. Yes. I'm an Amer I, I'm, I was born here. And I asked God uh, to bless her leadership. And you know what? Hey, I want to be on that old path and be my, have my soul at rest. Uh, we need, and you know, the, hey, I, <laughs> I worked all over Colorado, Arizona, Utah. And, and you know what? Every night, you know what I look forward to? I look forward to gambling uh, and my comforter of drinking. That comforted me. But you know what? Listen to me. The next morning I have a headache way out here. I didn't even know where I was at half the time. And you know, I don't have that comforter no more. I've got a comforter tonight. Then when yes. I wake up, no headache. I, know, I don't have to go outside and see my vehicle is to all the pieces. I don't know if you know where I'm coming from or not. Somebody out there does. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I love the Lord. And I want to grow in Christ. Well, how do you grow in Him? But just calling on His name. Because that name is higher than any other name. Oh, because I don't know what I'd do without the Lord. Do you? How many? How many? Do you know what? No. Don't know what I'd do.
three of my kids because before I was born again, before I accepted Christ, I, I wasn't a good father, good papa. You know, and that's what people today, uh, I got se- uh, six grandchildren, one Leo. I, I, <laughs> but, but you know what? <laughs> you know, God is still in the move. But you know, I tried my best. You know, I still apologize to my kids and grandkids. You know, if you're out there, and you know, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up, Sister Margaret, praying for them. I'm just going to keep lifting them up to the Lord. My words, you know, might not be that strong, but hey, that comforting word that He puts in us, hey, is real strong. I can feel that strong power tonight. Somebody out there is wanting the help of the Lord. I can feel that, don't you? And I know He's in the midst, amen? I know He'll help us. And there's many people out there who may not have got your name tonight, but you know, it's, it's horse time again. I want to lift up all the horse people because I've been one all my life. But one thing about it, God is in the midst of everything we do. Yes. And I feel that because I want Him to help us. How many wants that help Amen. in the time of need? I, I feel, hey, hey, Amen. Hey. Thank you so much for all the songs. Glory Land Baptist from Berea. So to get in touch with them, call 859-624-3023. And uh, they uh, all did a good job. Appreciate them being here. And uh, we have a number of requests here that we're going to share. Brenda from Wayne County pray for her grandson having bad headaches and stomach problem. He's only 17 years old. Lily from Knott County in the hospital with a broken hip and wants for the Cecil to pray for her. Norma from Hyden is in the, her daughter is in the hospital. Uh, she's in, not in the hospital. She's in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. Right now she's choking. Uh, Nancy from Flemingsburg pray for her family and a friend. George watches every night and uh, She's praying for a new kidney. Yes, Ter- Lord, bless her. Terry Wayne, Debbie has called in from him. Uh, he's in the VA, has cancer. Doctor gave him six months to live. Oh, and the wife Lord. has cancer too. Eva wants, she's a, for a grandson, but she's in a nursing home, wants to go home. Wanda from Jackson for her sister and husband. Uh, Floyd County, Kohler has uh, a lot of physical needs and... Uh, 
a broken foot and spine and so forth. Uh, from Madison County, pray for family there. Alfie from Wolf County is in a nursing home and wants to go home. Louise uh, needs prayer, going to hear the song go rest on the mountain. Betty from London wants prayer for her sister. Uh, Brenda from Montgomery County for health. Angel from uh, Beautiful for her mother Tammy that has the shingles. Linda from Morgan County and uh, Tony from Clay City Physical Needs. Terry from Menifee County, thanking the Lord. Phyllis from uh, Laurel County for uh, her needs. And uh, there, is a, there is another one uh, from Montgomery County. Frida is in the hospital and uh, not doing well. Thank you. Uh, for Morgan County, several family needs there. A woman for Kimberly that's in the hospital. The doctor says her organs shutting down. Bless they don't her know Lord. what's the cause in it. Anthony is in the hospital with a collapsed lung. From Frenchburg, a lady with heart palpitation. Uh, Steve had uh, uh, brain surgery this week. Uh, it's been declining yesterday, but praise God. He woke up this morning and he can move his uh, feet and legs. Ain't, ain't that so good? Yes, so that is. That's that what God can when, move like that. When we say pray, we mean. Well, you, you know, well, it's just you. like it's just like uh, like you were saying. God is still right there. Yes. But there's so many things that, that you know. I want to be. I want to get in a place. I want to be in the place that I can get a hold of Him, Tony. And, and you know, I believe we can. I believe we can get a hold of him if we just if we get there and say that name. That name is higher than any other name. Right here, you know, uh, uh, Cindy and there's one, and Rhonda's another. Uh, one's from Danville, one's from Richmond. One of them wanted to be delivered from alcohol, and one of them wanted to be delivered from uh, addictions, uh, drugs. And you know what, folks? Listen to me. They got that comforter, Sister Mark. It's not easy. I've been there. You ever been there, Tony? You've been there. Uh, hey, it's not. It, it takes the power of God mm -hmm. to deliver you, mm -hmm. I, and that power is so real and so alive. And, and you know, it takes that comforter. And, and these, if I, I told them, find them a church, Sister Margaret, to get into. And, and you know what, folks? You wouldn't believe what this station is doing right here. It's reaching into people. Uh, you know, that they accidentally turn it on, and, and maybe they want to keep it on. Especially see three little guys like us up here the other night. They want to keep yeah, it on. And, and you know, that's what's, that's what's so important about it, mm -hmm. is keeping the lights of burning. Amen? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mary from Morgan County, for her grandchildren, one's been an accident and is at UK very serious right now. Nothing from Morgan County uh, having seizures in Knox County enjoying Brother Cecil singing tonight. Frida, um, for her family. And yes, uh, Lord. All right. Uh, you know what, Sister Mark, we've been here a long time, and, and, and God, God is counting on us. But you know what? It's coming springtime, and there won't be as many calling stuff like that. But one thing about it, He's still on time. Hey, 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 the ones we reach, praise God for it. Uh, are you still, are you still got your addiction meetings? Yes, I do. Um, celebrate recovery. Um, I'm starting back up uh, with COVID waning, being able to do celebrate recovery inside, mm -hmm. and, uh, going back to the jail uh, fr uh, Friday. Um, oh, we, good. We have a celebrate recovery meeting. Uh, if you want to know more information about Celebrate Recovery in the Richmond, Come on. Um, yeah. Harry County, uh, uh, Danville area, uh, call 859-661-2134. Uh, Again, it's 859-661-2134, and we'd be glad to uh, help you find a Celebrate Recovery in your Amen. area. Amen. There's also an app you can download for your phone uh, that will help, help you find a Celebrate Recovery anywhere in the world that you can go to. Mm -hmm. And so I, I encourage that. Um, and uh, you, uh, if you're in that area, we'll uh, meet you up with a Celebrate Recovery that I, me and my wife go to that you, can, you won't be alone. I've talked to a lot of people from Richmond, uh, Tony, that needed that. So it's 661-23-2134. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. That's very good. We, all the help that uh, people can get. Uh, yes. Uh, sometimes, sometimes the uh, deliverance is instantly, but yeah, most of the time right. you got to have some help. Mm -hmm. You got to have some help because you got to retrain mm -hmm. uh, everything, don't you? Right. Amen. And so, 
All right, well. You know, I needed a lot of retraining, Sister Margaret, and the Lord, <laughs> Lord knowed I stubborn, stubborn or mule. And he held me up for a long time with his spirit. But one thing about it, I, I, I'm so glad that, that he didn't give up on me. No. I'm glad. Thank God he didn't give up on all of us. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Some people, you know, uh, it's easy, but I wasn't one of them. But one thing about it, he still, that comforter is still out there. And he's still crying out to the people. And you know what? We're going to keep on, we're going to keep on praying. We're going to keep on preaching. Because God is still in the midst of everything. Yeah. Go ahead, Holmes. Yes. Well, Tell us some more. That's, uh, that's all that I have. And okay, so, Tony, uh, you got some more to say? Well, I was uh, appreciating what you were talking about tonight because lots of times we point him to Jesus, but we, you know, I hadn't thought about we need comforting. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. why that we turn to, uh, uh, people turn to hurts, habits, or hangups. Yeah, because, come on. Because that they have a pain. It yeah. could be emotional pain, could be yeah, physical that's pain good. that they need comforting from. And the, and the best way of getting comforting from that is from the comforter of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so that's, that's the only way. Yeah, amen. Mm -hmm. and, and I like that. I like that comfort. Yes, yes. Because, you know, uh, somebody asked me, said, how do you do what you do? I don't. Uh, I, I just, I'm just obedient to the Spirit of God. And I just fall in and, and, and we help one another. Mm -hmm. The Bible said where there's two, he's in the midst. Mm -hmm. Where there's three, he's really there. And, you know, I believe that. I stand on that rod. And, and you know, just like that staff David, though I walk through the valley, I, we may be in a valley mm -hmm. uh, of the, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For, mm -hmm. hey, that rod and that staff, they comfort me. Mm -hmm. You know, I go back. My little mm -hmm. mind, what little I got, goes back uh, to David standing there taking care of them sheep. And he uses them sheep as you and I today. Mm -hmm. I, I feel that goodness and that power. We, we better yes, pray for yes, these. Yes, We're going to pray for these. We're going to lay them right here. Mm -hmm. And listen to me tonight. We're going to anoint these yes. and call on the name of Jesus because He'll always be there for you. And you know what, folks? I, there's two I know of today with addictions. Uh, and don't matter if it's alcohol. Don't matter if it's, uh, you know, hey, we're in trouble in America. But wait a minute. God said we're not. Uh, he put that shield around us. Father, as we come in your mighty loving name, I owe I ask a blessing on the people out there. I know, Lord, a lot of people's hurting. A lot of families is hurting. Uh, there's a lot of people that's watching tonight. We're going to lift them up to you and give you praise, glory, and honor because you'll never let us down. You're always there for us, Lord and we thank you for that. We appreciate everything you do. It's a privilege tonight, Lord, to be allowed to, uh, to pray in the audience uh, uh, that you, Lord, you formed it. You created it. You touched it. Uh, and, Lord, you're touching somebody tonight. I feel that touching hand. We've anointed. And, Lord, at thy word, you're going out there and moving. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, amen. All right, once again, give that phone number where the uh, people can call you for it's 859-331-661. Again, that's 859-661-2134. Make sure you call that if you need help. Yeah. And, and even, Tony comes to the church there. And yes. And, and, you know, even if it's not for them personally, they've probably got someone in their family that yeah. needs help. And Amen. It's, it's, it's our duty to uh, help as much as we can. Amen. Sometimes it's only to recommend a place to go or mm -hmm. it's to tell them about the Lord. We can't make anyone do anything, but uh, the Lord doesn't do that. Amen. So, so I don't think we're going to. We just, we, we, we just throw the hook out there, don't we, Lord? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Real man. But oh. The Lord does the cleaning, don't he? Yes, yes. And he. He never fails. No, he, he ain't going to fail us. He, he never will mm -hmm. fail us. And you know, Sister Murray, I appreciate, you know, another night to where I, I can bring the gospel of Christ, mm -hmm. that he is a comforter. And mm -hmm. you know, pe people want to run from that comforter because fear and thing to fall in the hands of the living God, the Bible said. But what that fear is, is giving yourself up. Anything that's in the way, I want him to move it. Yes. Amen? Yes. I don't want that in my way of getting in my path towards heaven because, I, hey, hey, I got my name written in the Lamb's Book of Life, 84, but I've been growing on that name ever mm -hmm. since. Jesus' name. That name is higher than any other name. A lot of things we, we need, but we need one thing more than anything. We need salvation. Go yes. ahead, Sister Mark. Yes. We're about out of time, I think. All right. Well, we appreciate uh, everyone being here tonight. Appreciate your calls and so let's continue to look to the Lord. He Amen. Is, he is the place that we will get our help. Man's help is not very, it's good as far as it goes, but it doesn't go very far. 
And so that's why we need the Lord. Amen. We are out of time. So from all of us, we want to say good night. And God bless you. And God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.